Now the advantages of IoT, you can see here, improved customer engagement. Even without, as I told you at the beginning of this lecture, okay, even I, without having or pressing on the send button, we are sending some data to the server. Machine is communicate with the machine directly. I don't need to be involved with that thing. So, we don't need to be, we don't need to spend time for that, but our machine will enhance our engagement with the system or with the service. Okay, then the technology optimization. So, as I told you, when this technology will come, some other technology need to be optimized, like communication system, security system, okay, connectivity, uh, need, need to be ensured the connectivity, these kind of issues, okay. So, how to handle the big data, okay, how can we generate the information or how can we make the knowledge from the data, okay, or how, how can I take the decision or what kind of AI I am going to use, that should be technology optimization. And then resource, resource waste, okay, like as I told you, if I don't stay in this room, my light fan should be turned off, okay. If I forgot to turn off my AC when I am going out, my system should have the ability so that it can turn it off. And uh, one very common thing happened in my life, when I was putting the milk on the burner, okay, almost all the time, the milk overflowed and the burner become dirty. Okay, so maybe my IoT device can help me for how to support this thing or handle this thing. Okay, so reduce the waste. Okay, like I don't need to go some other places. I don't need to do a lot of thing. I don't need to waste the battery. I don't need to use the waste the power. These things can be reduced. Okay, then enhance data collection. And this is the this is almost the same like improved customer engagement. So uh, since the machine will send the data automatically, a number of data will go automatically and when you have the data, you know how to process it. That means if you have the data, how many corona patients are around this area, then you can take the decision whether the lockdown is necessary or not. Okay? Or if you know if there is any corona patient inside this building, then I can take the decision of what kind of, how to say, precaution I have to take or precaution measure I have to maintain. Okay, so that is very, very important. If I know how many good students in my university, then I can take the decision what kind of company we should approach to come to our university for student hiring. Okay, or if I know how many users of Shiraz Gond is using my product, then maybe I will take the decision in which way I'm going to give them the service. Okay, so enhanced data collection means enhanced the service. Okay, then the security, very, very important issue. Okay, security actually is the main disadvantage. It's very difficult to maintain the security. Okay, I have 100 IoT devices and I want no one can access my data. It's difficult. Okay, you understand. Only protecting your Facebook ID, your email address, your phone number has become complicated for me. You know, my pin number of the bank is a bit difficult for me. Then how can I protect my 100 devices from the hacker? Okay, so that is one of the most or biggest issue of uh, IoT, okay? Security, and then the privacy is the same thing. If I'm using someone's service, like very good company, like Samsung, they said we are giving the service, okay? But they know my information, my private, very private information, okay? Am I going to allow them to know it? Or how to handle this? This is another very big disadvantage or challenge, okay? Then the complexity, as I told you, the network will become very complex network, okay? A complex design is required for handling all these communication. So, how to implement it? What kind of idea, new idea is required? How to handle all these, as I told you, security issue, privacy issue, privacy issue inside the complex network. Okay, So, that is another, uh, you can say, disadvantage. Flexibility. Can we make our system flexible? Okay, and the lastly, compliance. 
can we make such a device that is compliance with each other? Compliance means whether uh, my this one is compliance with this computer, whether this device is compliance with that uh, mobile phone. Okay, these are the compliance issue, or whether the device of Bangladesh is compliance with the device of uh, Singapore. Okay, so there's a compliance issue. Okay, so a battle will always uh, happening every day. You know, processor, there are two companies, Intel, AMD. Okay, even for the microcontroller, there are two companies you see on the last lecture. Okay, one is microchip and another one is Atmel. So everywhere there is a competition, there is a fight, there is a battle with the technology. So that is another important issue. Now, we are almost at the end of the lesson and end of the uh, uh, end of this this lesson so here we are naming some technologies which is not yet uh, uh, finally arrived okay not yet how to say we cannot say these are the th these are the solutions but some new solutions came with the nfc rfid low energy bluetooth low energy uh, wireless radio protocols, okay, LTEA or long term evolution, Wi-Fi direct, okay, this kind of network concept is coming. I am not saying it arrived, it is coming, this kind of concept, concept is coming and beside all this concept, new type of network, uh, uh, network things will need to be arrived, okay. So, I will give you uh, homework or you can say assignment or I, you can say some presentation on this kind of new technologies or protocols that need to be developed for IoT. Okay, I named here something. I have mentioned some, or Kafiyontol. I have mentioned some issues of that kind of things. But I want you to know the detail, or you. I want you to let me know the details about this technology by using some presentation or using some report. Okay, so. Uh, that's all for this lecture. You can see in this uh, in this slide, like putting all these things together: the software issues, AI issues, okay, security issues, uh, uh, how to say, uh, big data analysis issues, network issues, everything together. Sensing issues, okay, handling issues. All these issues are coming in the single thing by using IoT. When IoT will become popular. When IoT will expand everywhere, then all these cutting edge technology need to be involved together. Okay, and you can see here at the beginning we have we are showing some pictures. At the end, we are showing another picture where you can understand how everything, our uh, robotic arm of industry, our autonomous car, our house, uh, our office, our how to say a vehicle, our uh, uh, how to say. Uh, base station of a computer, uh, base station of a bank, okay, everything will be connected together in IoT based system. Okay, so thank you very much. It was a very, very interesting and important issue that need to be addressed to you for digital system design course. So I believe you will go through these slides very nicely and we will be able to answer our questions. Thank you very much.